I'm going to show you three ways to compare clips when you're color grading in DaVinci Resolve to make shot matching and color matching a lot easier. Let's switch over to the color page and we'll come up to the top and turn on the clips just so we can see what we're working with. The first method I'm going to show you is the split screen method. So you need to come up here and click this split screen button. When you do that, you get this drop down. The first method I'm going to show you is this neighbor clips option. So let's click neighbor clips. Now the view gets split up into four different sections. At the bottom left is the clip that we're currently working with. So you can see if I make changes, it affects that clip. This black area ordinarily shows us the next clip, but because we're at the end of the timeline, there's no more clips. And the top two boxes show us the previous two clips to the one we're working with. So let me select this middle clip and now we can start to make some changes. Perhaps we want to increase the contrast and maybe work with the saturation a bit. And while we're doing it, we can see how the other clips in the sequence relate to it. We can even click play to play back all of these clips to see how they look. To get a better idea, you can use control F to see these full screen and hit space to start playback. Hit escape to exit full screen mode. Sometimes you might have the same location or same camera spread out amongst the timeline. So this view won't be very useful in that case if you're trying to shot match the same camera or location clips. So what you can do is change this drop down from neighbor clips and instead use selected clips. And in this case, let's say we just want to compare these two drone clips. I'm going to select the clip that I want to adjust and then hold down control and select the clip I want to compare. Now we can go and make changes and compare the differences between the two clips. You can continue to hold down control and select multiple clips, but the more you select, the smaller each one gets. Another way to compare clips is to use groups. We'll change this to current group. We don't have any groups set up at the minute, so let's go and create one for these two drone shots. I'm gonna right click, choose add into new group, Give the group a name, I'm just gonna call this drone and click okay. And because we've got two clips in that group, we get them shown. And for example, let's go and add these three into a new group. These were shot with an Osmo Pocket 3. And now we get all of those three clips that belong to that group shown. To turn off split screen, come back up here and click this button again. Another really useful feature that a lot of people aren't even aware of is this light box. So I'm just gonna click here to open the light box. You can zoom in or out of the thumbnails, depending on how many clips you've got in the time Line. And this gives you a really quick overview of how all of the colors and all of the exposure are comparing against all of the clips in your timeline. If you click on a clip to select it and then hold down the left mouse button and drag through it, you can scroll through the clip as well to find the reference points to help you do your color matching. And whichever one you select when you close the light box will be the clip selected down here that you can work with. Sometimes you might want to do more detailed comparison between two clips. So we're going to start off here by doing some very basic color grading to this clip. And then I'm going to click on this gallery button to open up the gallery and right click on the thing we just color graded and choose grab still. You can see this adds this little thumbnail here. And if you click on this button, you can open up the side. When you grab a still, it's gonna be underneath this stills one area. Now you've got this still, come to the shot that you want to color grade and compare against it. Come up to the top here and click this button to turn on image wiping. If we were to grab a still from this shot instead and come back here and turn on image wipe as we switch between these two stills, we get a different clip for comparison. If you want to, you can switch this to a vertical split or a diagonal split. You can also drag the divider point to drag things around to reveal different amounts of the clips. You can do this in the other views as well. So in this case, we actually want to compare the shot on the left here with this reference shot on the right. You can also see that the scopes down here are affected by this image wipes. So not only do you get a visual comparison, but you also get the scope data to work with. So for example here, let's go and add some contrast. Watch what happens on this side of the scope. It's only affecting the clip that we're currently working with. Maybe we want to add some saturation. To try and match the colors in that water. You can change to different scopes. Let's change to the parade. On the left side here is the left clip and on the right hand side here is the right clip. And as we change the image wipe, we can see the scope change as well. And if all we wanted to do was copy the color grading from this drone shot to the one we're working with, we can just right click and choose apply grade. That will apply all of the color grading nodes. We only have one here to the clip that we're working with. There's so much you can do in DaVinci Resolve that it can be overwhelming. That's why I put together this dedicated playlist for you. Grab yourself a drink, click on this playlist. I'm Jason Roberts, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.